Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement and uh, in this video we will be learning that how to create a bar chart, how to make that uh, bar chart axis, uh, vertical axis uh, reverse because it's very necessary to make it reverse so that your data flow and the axis should, should be aligned properly and equivalent and matched. Uh, how to extract top 10 customers from that bar chart and to active the data labels. So let's get start. I have a data here. What I will do is selecting all the data and then I will create one pivot table. So creating a pivot table, you need to go to insert tab, click on pivot table, which is at the left side of this ribbon and just press the OK button from this create pivot table dialog window. Now you got uh, one extra sheet uh, or a separate sheet in which you can see that there is a blank pivot. We will just uh, put some of the fields in the pivot table areas. For example, uh, purchase amount in the values and uh, customer ID in the rows, right? And now as we can analyze this pivot that we have a total of 15 customers starting from C0001 till C0015, right? And uh, with respective to each of the customer, we have the purchase amount accordingly. So for example, if we need to create a bar chart of this pivot table, what we need to do is we need to go to analyze tab, which is at the top. And here we have an option which is called pivot chart. So I will click on pivot chart and um, here I will select the type, which is the bar chart and I will press OK. As soon as I will press OK button, this uh, pivot chart object will be created in my Excel spreadsheet. I will just make it align properly by dragging and dropping uh, the resizing buttons. So now I can see that um, I have the 15 customers uh, visualizations according to their purchase amount. But there is one issue in this uh, bar chart is that my pivot table data starts from customer one, two, three, and so on. But my pivot, um, but my bar chart data starts from the customer 15, 14, 13. So that's the reverse. Uh, every time you make the bar chart, your vertical axis uh, is not set properly. So we need to reverse this axis. So for doing that, what we need to do is we will just right click on this vertical axis, y axis. And when if you can see this contextual menu, there is a, one last option which is called format axis. Click on the format axis and um, at the right side, you will get the format axis navigation pane. So here you will see the see the option of categories in reverse order. You have to check mark this option and now you can see that your list in the pivot table is absolutely correctly uh, aligned with your bar chart from customer 1 till 15, right? But there is one issue that your horizontal axis now move to the top. So for uh, correcting that option is what we need to do is uh, if you can see here again in the format access navigation pen at the right side, you will find there is a section called horizontal access crosses. Uh, here you need to just select the at maximum category so that your horizontal access uh, move to the downside, right? So this is how you need to uh, make sure that the flow of your data in the pivot table must be same as the flow of your bar chart by, by reversing the uh, access, okay? Now we don't need these buttons, for example, customer ID and sum of purchase amount for removing these buttons. What you need to do is right click on this. You will find this contextual menu and here you will need to uh, select hide all field buttons on chart. So it will remove. So we don't need the legend. We will delete this as well. At, at the title, uh, we will double click and we will rename this title. Instead of total, we need to write top 10 customers right but here now we we don't have the top 10 customers filtered in this bar chart for doing that what we need to do is we need to filter uh, the pivot table raw labels which is the customer id for the top 10 based on sum of purchase amount for doing that what we need to do is open this filter menu and in the feature that is called value filters you will find one more contextual menu and at the bottom you will find top 10 right so click on top 10 here you can have multiple choices either you want to go for top 10 or bottom 10 or more than 10 or less than 10 so we are going for the top 10 
items based on sum of purchase amount i will just press ok as as, I, as soon as i press ok uh, my pivot table has been got uh, filtered by the top 10 customers only and uh, through that my second object which is the pivot chart has been filtered and uh, giving me the top 10 customers now for example if i want to see the uh, particular volume amount as well in my chart so i need to active the data labels for doing that i need to just right click on this bar add data labels so now i got my data labels according to each of the customers that how much purchase amount has been there so uh, now this bar chart is giving me the top 10 customers but for example if i need to quickly pick the uh, customer which is which is at fourth position so i need I still need to find out who is at the fourth position or who is at the second position because the uh, we, we got the top 10 but we the, the list has not been sorted uh, from the largest to smallest and we need to sort that so that uh, if we need to find out any of the random uh, customer within the top 10 list so it will will be easy to uh, get that uh, customer and their respective purchase amount very easily so for doing that what we need to do is we will again open this filter menu which is in the pivot table row labels and here you will find this filter certain options you need to go to more sort options and here you need to select descending and make sure that you select the sum of purchase amount because we need to sort all these customers based on their purchase amount from highest to lowest and just press ok button so as you as soon as you do this uh, you can see that now you have got the top 10 customers in your bar chart and uh, this has been sorted and i can easily see who is at the number fifth or who is at number second and what is the actual amount as well right so i hope you uh, found this technique very useful you can uh, apply this technique and uh, make sure you can uh, add this kind of charts in your dashboards as well or any other reports which contains the visualizations thank you so much